Yo, what is going on, guys? I'm back with another PTCGO gameplay and commentary. Today, I'm going to be playing Vicaray. Uh, Vicaray, this is the list that I just placed first at the Melbourne special event. Um, so I haven't tested much with Vicaray, so I'm not going to go over the list too much. This is the list he used to take first place. I know quite a few people like this list. The list looks solid, fast, consistent. I'm not going to go over the list too much at all here just thought i'd let you guys see the list before we get into some games uh i'm not sure uh the name of the player but this is the list he used to place first place at the melbourne special event so let's go ahead and get into some games and see right, so how we're into the first game here we're going first um um, um so like i mentioned at the beginning of the video i have not played around with vika ray too much so, yeah, not a whole lot of experience with the deck, not going to lie. We'll see how this goes. <clears throat> Shouldn't go too poorly. I think we're going to go, look, it looks like we're going to go Ultra Ball for Ray, Attach Energy, give her one Energy plus Cynthia, Lele for Lily. Um, we could also Lele for Fan Club. I don't know, like, if it's using turn one Marshadow is that big. He's got a four-card hand already. So it's a Zoropod. Uh, favorable matchup. Um, get Cynthia this back into the deck. I think I want to be a little more aggressive, though. <coughs> so I think we want to do something like this. Um, so I'm learning a little bit here. I haven't played at all with Vika Ray. Um, usually takes me a little bit game, a couple games to kind of understand a deck. Oh, there goes a Lily. I guess I should have pulled a Lily out of the deck first. Oops, maybe prize the second Lily. That would be a yikes. Ooh, saved. Uh, yeah, should should have pulled this Lily out of the deck first. Um, there was a chance. Um, I could discard both if I really want a Lily this turn, which I did. Um, hmm, do you want a Marshadow? I think that's the question I'm looking at now. Is do I want to Marshadow? We can go attach Guzma next turn and then like just kind of KO whatever we want though. So I think we can just chill. Um, we can like attach Guzma then Marshadow next turn. So I don't hate that. So I think we're gonna go with that. I think we're gonna go. We're, that's gonna be our game plan right now. It's gonna be attach Guzma, treasure away the fan club, get a Marshadow, play Marshadow. Um, we'll see what his turn looks like. Uh, that way we can like chase if he gets like a, a grass energy on a wind pot. Ooh, if he Coco spreads, that'd be pretty annoying though. Actually, I'm not gonna lie. <clears throat> Probably can go for a Lily here. Uh, if he took the Coco, I assume that means he has a DCE in hand, or he's gonna try and Lily into it. One of the two. Um, the early. Uh, Coco spread can be pretty annoying. Make it easy, not easy, but make it easier for him to set up knockouts on the Rayquazas. Okay, we can chase this. The getting it, getting rid of this grass off this wind pot is also a pretty big deal. So that's actually like reasonable for us to do this turn as well. Um, so we're gonna go get that marshmallow. Come here, I think he's in here. Yeah, I thought I saw him. There he is. Get the marshmallow. Um, we have one lightning in here. But uh, um. It actually doesn't matter right now. I didn't check the energy count, so it doesn't really Do this. Guzma up this. And then play the Marshmallow. I don't know if I have to play it here. I mean, it reduces his hand, his hand size to four. It gives me something to do. Ooh, not great. Not great off that. But we have Lele for... Uh, we can Lele for a draw supporter. Um, oh, next turn. <clears throat> There's a Vika Vault. So top deck, we're at candy, and we're in business. So we top deck the candy. Um, I don't think anything's going to really stop us. Yeah, looking for that top deck, we're at candy right now, for sure. That would be very nice. Um, but if not, oh, I actually don't know. We're out of Lele's, actually. So actually, we're stuck right now. I just realized we're out of Lele's. So we might have to go with a Tempest next turn, depending on what he does. Um, top deck, we're at candy would obviously like give us a... <clears throat> a Tempest would be pretty bad, though. That's two Vika Vaults down. We might be in, uh... Might be a little stuck here. We'll have to see how the rest of this game ends up playing out. Because we actually do... We're out of Lele's. There's a second one in our discard pile right there. So we don't actually have a Lele that I could get off the Mysterious Treasure. So that's not going to be an out for us. Treasure for Lele for Cynthia is not going to be an out. So we're a little stuck here. Oh, but if that's just a pass from him, we're we're good. We're good. All right. Oh, and the top deck Cynthia. So we're real good. Um, play the Cynthia. Yeah, I didn't want to use Recycler yet. Still no candy Vika Vault. I don't even think I want to bench this. Um, I'm kind of thinking about it. 
like him chasing the grub and I don't know, he didn't even have an evolution now, so he'd have to like top deck Zorark. Um do I want to potentially bench another Ray though, or do I not even care about that? I guess is the other question. I guess if he kills my active, I'd wanna No, I guess I do want to potentially bench a Ray. So we're just gonna go ahead and Dragon Break. Uh, even if he goes like because then I could get I could actually just get a ray with this and then go attach, bench ray, knock out a Zorark. So actually this is still fine. We're still good here. Um yeah, so he's had a little bit of a slow draw. Um we've had a pretty good draw. We have not had a great draw ourselves, though. That's what I meant to say. We have not had a great draw. Oh, there's the Dedene. Um, so that's annoying. Oh. Alright, he still needs DCE. But if he does get DCE, we will be taken out. Um, yeah. Double tails. Nice, nice. That's what I like to see. Trying to keep this ray alive for one more turn, please. <clears throat> Just one more turn, please. Ultra ball. For a second Zorark for a trade for two. And I assume he's digging this hard because he does not have DCE in hand. And he's still looking for that DCE. Even if he gets it, he won't have a ton of cards to work with. Um, and he's traded down pretty low here. So if we, we can still get the knockout on the Dene. Hopefully top deck of Vika Vault. Um, he's got the Lele pass. All right, so we're in good shape. Pretty, pretty good shape. Um, so I'm going to go attach. I'm just going to get another Ray at this point. I don't know if I'm going to use the ability, but I got three candy, two of those. Two choice. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, let's go ahead and use the ability, I guess. All right, all bad cards, all unnecessary. Like we're not using those. Oh, I didn't even check if we had an energy in there. Oh no, no, no! I knew that there was lightning in there. I should have known. Oh, okay, here we go. Now we're in business. I don't think there's anything slowing us down now. Then you hit him with a strong charge. Charge up the other ray. We have two Guzmans left. Yeah, two Guzmans left. Um, we have plenty of ways. There's no way he can like stall us out of this game. I don't think. Dragon Break. I think he probably should have sacrificed a Coco. Keep me on. Oh, he's going to try and put me on Auto Prize with the Dene, I guess. So now he needs to go, like... He doesn't have to judge me this turn, actually. I don't know. Judge is a little kind of a weird card. Like, as a comeback mechanic, it's not great. So I don't... He doesn't have to judge me. He can just kind of chill, I guess. Then out the deck. Probably just going to take a Zork or... Yeah, take the Lissapod and trade it away. He has nothing going on. And, I mean, we're seeing a little bit still kind of the power of Equaza in this game. If is still just able to hit and draw prizes every turn um, from, like, two turn two on, and you just don't have an answer to it, um, is still pretty good. Uh, this game, he drew pretty poorly overall, but even if he had, like, gotten a DCE for a Lele attack, like, I don't really care about that. That's not, like, a huge deal in the matchup for me, so... Um, there's a Wimp. I don't know where he can go really go from here. Um, let's see. I'll let him try and come up with something. Uh, so if we top deck Guzma, we win. Guzma, Stretcher. Yeah, Guzma or Stretcher. That is not a Guzma or a Stretcher. Um, can go... Well, let's go with Volkner first. So I think we just need to go for the knockout here. I don't think anything else matters. So we can take the lightning energy out of the deck and then we can just take a tool out of the deck, because why not? Um I I don't know if it matters which which tool we really take here. Maybe escape rope is cool. Um I don't know, I'll take an energy recycler, I guess. I don't know. I don't think it really matters there. Um then an ultra ball away. Ultra ball, ultra ball, and we get the last Rayquaza out of the deck. And then we're gonna I don't even think we're gonna use the ability. I think we're just gonna put it in play. <clears throat> Wait, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12. I think there's two energy left in the deck. So we're just going to do this. I think there's... Uh, oh, it's just one. Oh, we don't have another lightning in the deck. Oh, so I should have left the lightning in the deck. Oops. <clears throat> Not a huge deal. I definitely should have left the lightning in the deck. Uh, I think we'll go ahead and use this right now, just in case we get judged and we need to get access to energy. Do it now. So I should have left the lightning in the deck. Shouldn't have taken it off the Vulcaner. I was just kind of thinning out. <clears throat> so he still needs a lot. I don't even know. I mean, once again, like I don't know what he could do here. He would have to like go uh, Guzma up my Vika Vault. Um, Guzma up my Vika Vault this turn. Into eventually Guzma up a Rayquaza and then G exit with 
Elisapod, I think, is his only out. Guzma might up my vehicle out this turn. Try and start stalling. Uh, but I don't be able to get another strong charge amount of energy into play. I'll just put on the Lele, load up the Lele. Um, yeah, I don't think there's an out for EB95 here, but, uh, you know, I'll give him, give him his turn, see if he can come up with anything. I can't think of anything. I got one prize. Oh, I guess I could even just retreat the Vika Vault, right? Yeah, it has three retreat costs. For some reason, I thought Vika Vault had four. I was like, okay, well, I'm not going to be able to retreat it next turn, but... <clears throat> I guess he could have Kakui Devour Field, knock out. Um, but we know I still have game. Did I get the Choice Man off the prizes? If I didn't get off the prizes, I probably should have attached the Choice Man here. I think I have the Lightning off the prizes. No, I had Lightning in hand, didn't I? Judge. I'm going to Judge Shell. He can't attack because then I win. I have eight energy in play. He's going to need something a little bit better than that. Yeah, and then there's going to be the concession. All right, so that's game one. We take one, game one pretty cleanly. Uh, that one mostly came out to just him not having... I mean, he didn't have DCEs early, but, like, the the Dedenic combo early is sometimes hard to hit. Um, so I guess if he had been able to hit, like, one shot or two shot the first right quasa and then clean up with the Dedenic later, it would have been a lot closer. But we managed to take that one pretty cleanly. All right, we're getting into another game here. Going first again. I like it. <clears throat> See if we can get a turn two. Oh, pretty good hand still. Turn two. Vika Vault this turn. We got the Vika Vault in hand. Got a Rayquaza in hand. And treasure away. Lightning. Use this Rayquaza. Get a Lele. Get a... Um, this is a straight Sylveon deck? Oh, this could be a tough matchup, actually. Maybe? Potentially. Straight Sylveon. Okay. So turn 2 knockout is probably pretty crucial um, for us to hit. Oh, it's going to be Guardi. Oh, so Guardi's going to be tough, too, I think, either way. All right, we can get the Grubbin now, too, which is pretty cool. So we can go, like, um... I think we want to keep the Stretcher just in case we mill anything with the Rayquaza. So we can Ultra Ball for the Lele. The Lily is there. Um, Treasure away. Oh, no! Oh, man, I was supposed to grab the Grubbin with that. That was pretty bad. Um, okay. Uh, we're getting another ray then. We're going uh, full ray. All right, that was bad. All right, we might have to switch up our game plan here now. That was uh, that was pretty bad. Ooh, that was some pretty bad discards too. Those three supporters. Um, okay, let's calm down and reset. Now there goes the Rayquaza. Um, oh man, I didn't get the Lily out either though. I'm like fumbling all over the place. Let's hope second Lily's in here. Okay, good. Oh man, all right, we're fumbling all over the place. Hold on though, we're not done yet. Um, Rayquaza, get him back. All right, we have all four rays out turn one. That's good. And get a lightning there. Um, so now we just need a Grubbin uh, here. There he is. Ooh, and we got the Vulcan for the rare candy. All right, we're set up. We're good to go. I've recovered. Um, we're good. Uh, yeah, not too bad. That was pretty bad, but uh, we've we've uh, reestablished board here, uh, and we should be good. Uh, I don't know if we'll just win, um, but we're definitely seeing the power and aggression of uh, Beaker Ray on this game a little bit more. Um, a little bit accidentally as well, but uh, you know what you're going to do. Sometimes sometimes you misplay. We only actually have one draw supporter left in Cynthia, um, but we sh hopefully that won't uh, affect us too much. Um, so he's definitely going to be getting out a... What's it called here? A turn two guardian. We can't do anything about that. So, he's going to have a turn two guardy, and we're just going to have to try and knock it out once it comes out. Um, we need, like, one energy or a choice band. There's the rare candy. So now I can get choice band with Vulcaner, actually, which will allow us to knock out the, uh, the guardy. So, rare candy, Vika Vault, and then we Vulcaner get the lightning energy. Oh, shoot, we're just out of energy. Wait, what? There's only two in there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We prized six energy. Oh my gosh, we prized six energy. All right, so now we have to do this. We have to get this K. Wow. Did we? Wow. We prized six energy. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hang on. Seven, eight. 
There's 14 energy. Oh, no, there they are. Oh, my gosh. Gosh, I thought we were probably six energy. Members. The grass energy just don't show up to the front because we're playing Vulcan, which only lets us get a lightning energy. Sheesh. All right, we're not getting that. Change of plans. Give me... I said the choice band was pretty good, right? The choice band I need. Wow, I was about to lose it there. Um, yeah, choice band. <clears throat> I think I need the choice band to be able to take the knockout in the next turn anyways. If I'm doing the shenanigans correctly. Oh, no, but now I can't get two energy again next turn. And I'm going to... All right, we'll figure it out. Oh, we can stretch it for the Rayquaza back, actually. Yeah, okay. And then he can get us one more energy in play. That works. Wow, okay. I was, like, almost beyond baffled at uh, our prizes there. But it turns out uh, the grass energy, we're just all sitting in the back, and we prized, what, two lightning energy then? So we might pull a lightning. Oh, we pull our city. Oh, and uh, oh, we're just good to go now. Yeah, I was at first I was shocked. I was like, what the heck? But uh, now we're just good to go. Now we're just good to go. I think we're actually going to probably win this one. Um, before, I was a little uh, unsure because it is um, Guardy. Guardy can be pretty tough. Um, oh, actually, I don't have enough energy yet to take the knockout. I need to get... Well, I would need to stretch it for the Rayquaza then, I guess. Oh, that doesn't feel really good. doesn't feel very good. He doesn't have... Okay, there we go. There's the fairy energy. Like said, He doesn't have a fairy energy yet, but there it is. No, he got the fairy energy. We're getting knocked out. All right. So we need to knock him out back. So you send up the ray. Um, I really wanted to fan club for a grubbin. I don't think we can do that anymore. But we get two off a of strong charge, two energy off a of strong charge. Um, so four, five, six, seven. So we need to like draw into an energy for turn. So we need to go like cycler. No. We need a stretcher for Rayquaza first. Because we need that energy off the Rayquaza. Um, we need eight or seven and a choice band, which we have the choice band because I got that. Oh, there goes the goose. Um, now, choice band active. Recycler. All right. We're learning. Put them in. And then we Cynthia because we definitely want to draw an energy for turn, but we should be able, definitely be able to hit this anyways. Um, we could treasure away that fan club. I don't hate that, actually. Treasure away the fan club. Sure, sure. Just thin out the deck a little bit. Put a Marsh Shadow. No, that one. I, well, actually, the Marsh Shadow won't have it. Because we haven't attached for turn yet. Oh, well, if we just hit the attachment for turn, then we're just going to hopefully win. Oh, there's another Choice Band, too, which is huge. Hopefully, this doesn't whiff now, though. I don't think. Oh, but we're going to whiff the next one. Oh. <clears throat> I need that, like, lightning to stay in the deck. All right. Uh no wait we have five six seven oh no five six oh no but I'll be able to attach five six seven yeah we still have the we still have the knockout next do I want to attach this do we think do guardy decks play they might play blowers actually guardy decks might play blowers right now but I'm not gonna attach that that second choice band there oh wait I did two seventy eight no oh I overkilled I didn't wasn't even paying I forgot I had attachment for turn oh I I very much overkilled there that was oh okay all right <laughs> I miscounted there. I forgot I had my attachment for turn, I guess. So I could have put this choice on the bench one, actually. That would have been the better way to go. All right. Well, he needs to hit Candy Guardy off the Tate and Liza for five. Um, so unlikely, but we'll see. You never know. And that's it. There we go. Even against what should be theoretically a bad matchup. Uh, I don't know. Vika Ray is pretty strong. If you draw the first two prizes in the game... Uh, I think it's pretty likely that you are going to win, even against Guardi. Um, as long as you set up a Vika Vault. If you draw the first two prizes and you don't have a Vika Vault set up, then it can get a little sketchy. But we had the Vika Vault set up. Right, so we're finally going rolling. second. So this is where we might actually use, like, a turn one Tempest or something. Well, not with that hand. Um, so we might actually see the turn one Tempest game, which is actually one of the strengths of this deck, for sure, is being able to turn one Tempest. Um, so let's see how it goes. Four, five, six. Okay, well, currently looking like a turn. We could, looks like we could go fan club into turn one Tempest. Uh, fan club into Tempest. Like fan club for Marsh Shadow Grubbin, Tatch, and then Tempest. So I like I like that setup already. I like the way that setup looks already. We'll have to see what see what he does on his turn still, but I like the idea of going uh, Lele for fan club. We get Marshmallow, uh, Marshmallow, Marsh Shadow. Uh, the marshmallow, uh, and also the grubbin, and then we bench the grubbin, attach grass active, and then play the marshmallow. Okay, so we're playing against 
Logalio GX. Uh, I think we're just probably favored in this matchup. We need to set up like less stage twos overall. Um, Zorx, Logalio, look out. Uh, but yeah, I think we're probably just favored. Uh, I'm not too worried about this at all. Oh, there we go. Yes, okay. Um, yeah, I think I'm still going to go through with the same game plan. Like that. As long as it's here, there's the fan club. We got the Marsh out, and we got our girl. All right, we're good. Fan club. It's also like kind of, well, hopefully we'll make my, um, my Tempest a lot cleaner because currently I don't want to like Tempest away this hand. So hopefully, oh, that's getting a little stuck there. Hopefully my, my Tempest will be pretty clean. And we have two, two extra bench spots for either second Grubbin or Array. Oh, okay, yes, I'm fine with this. <clears throat> Ugh. Okay, well, we're still getting rid of two draw supporters and a Guzma. Um, but, uh, yeah, we're doing it anyways. It's fine. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah, I was hoping for a little bit cleaner of a Tempest, but, uh, I mean, this is pretty good. We have Candy Fika Vault. Uh, we have a lot of our candies in hand, so I'll probably look to set up another thing, whatever it's called. Um, Rubbin. And we're going to get the Ultra Ball off the Volkner to, um, Candy into Fika Vault. And um, we should take the one shot this turn, I think. Treasure away something, yeah. We'll be able to one shot. We'll probably treasure away a red candy. We have so many red candies in hand. Ridiculous. Oh, top deck Vika Vault would actually be very nice here. That would that's what I'd like to see here is actually a top deck Vika Vault. Um top deck ultra ball. No, it's top deck Vika Vault. <clears throat> still waiting for him to actually like set up. So we have a ton of time still. We have a lot of time to work with. I'm not really too worried about anything. There's a Kuzma. That's annoying. But we have the switch in hand, actually. Oh, we're not getting knocked out, are we? No. Oh, he's going to hit with that Dust Gathering. All right. So that'll actually give us a nice cheeky knockout on the Cosmog this turn. Which Oh, there it is. The the top deck Vika Vault, like I was talking about, of course. Um, Well, now I think we just play it a little bit slower. Um, we can Nest Ball, get out the second uh, Bubbin. Um... Still treasure away a rare candy, I think. Yeah. Treasure, get rid of a rare candy. We're going to get another ray. I don't know if I want to use the ability. Do we have an energy in here? All right. Let's um, try Vika Vault the energy out of the deck. For... No, because I'd rather hit the energy, I think. Yeah, we're going to use the ability here. Okay. Nothing too devastating. And we can candy. Vika Vault. Uh, strong Charge. Get two energy. Put them both on Array. Wow, this deck is... Pretty fire. All right. And so I guess we could have taken the knockout with Lele, but then I feel like losing energy to retreat. Um, I think I'm going to hold the Volkner because I'm not going to use either of the cards I would get off it. I, don't, I also don't have another supporter in the hand that I'd want to use as a follow-up on the next turn, so we're just going to chill uh, with the current hand. I'm not, no, we're not being really pressured to do anything, so I'm just going to hang out uh, and chill. Uh, do I ever want to set up a Vika Vault in this matchup? I guess I could. There's a Judge. I'll take that. It's not too bad. See, so, now we just have Volkner back in the deck. Like Off the Volkner, I would look for, like, what, Ultra Ball for Rare Candy, what's it called, but I don't have a... Uh, I couldn't have done it last turn, so <clears throat> it doesn't really make a ton of sense to try and do it. There we go. There's his orc. So he probably, well, I mean, I guess he could still have Red Candy, Soul Galio, but unlikely. Um, we actually can't KO, with the current hand, we actually can't KO a Soul Galio, which is uh, kind of sucks. But we could uh, Escape Rope and KO anything off the bench. So unless he gets Red Candy, Soul Galio, Red Candy, Soul Galio, and then can set up another Soul Galio. Oh, I actually need nine energy to kill this thing. Or, or eight and a choice span. He's at the 250 HP. So that's actually really hard to knock out. Um, he takes that one extra energy. Usually we're looking at seven or eight. This guy actually takes the nine. <clears throat> the nine energy. All right. Uh, okay, there's Baby Soul Galio. All right, he's going to charge up the Cosmogs. A little annoying, but we'll get the knockout for the turn for sure, which is important. Get two more energy in play. Then we will probably lose the Rayquaza next turn. I'm just going to... I want to play like we're going to lose the Rayquaza. 
I mean, if I top that Guzma, I could like Guzma. Yeah, if I top that Guzma, I'll probably Guzma KO one of the Cosmogs that has energy. Um, or definitely cut KO the Cos Cosmimo or whatever Memo Mimo. Uh, top tech rare candy is really nice here. Um, can set up have the potential to set up a lot of energy. I don't know if we'd go for it on this turn, but we'd have the potential to set up a lot of energy. Um, if we ever get knocked out, we should be able to knock out. Oh, he's only got three in there, so it's actually not a huge deal. All right, Choice Band is also pretty good to make sure we can get to the point where we can actually KO stuff. Um, I don't know if I want to set up Vika Vault. I set up a Lele in case we have to two shot ever. Yeah, I think we should put on a Lele. I guess I could two shot with a Vika Vault, put him on odd prizes as well. And I don't think we're doing anything else, just attack. Grass energy. That's pretty good. Um, so now we can get to we can get to four, five, six, seven, eight. Not quite nine. Oh, I guess we could uh Mysterious Shredder for another ray. So we can get to nine next turn. So we can actually KO a what's it called next turn? Soul Galio. We can KO a Soul Galio next turn. Um for sure. Alright, there he is. Oh, the holla. Oh, only for four though. That's fine with me. He's playing for that turn two. Turn two soul burst into the holla chain or into the holla for draw support, um, which is actually pretty sick. Being able to use holla is pretty cool. Um, it's like the most definitely the most powerful draw supporter, um, but you know it does require using your GX attack as soon as possible. Dun, 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 dun. All right. Um, so we should, unless I miscalculated, let's see. Um, four, five, six, seven, eight, another ray, nine. So we have nine. Um, we have nine. Light needs a hand. Um, so I don't want to whiff the strong chart. Well, hang on, I'm gonna do this first. So let's see what the let's see what it looks like. We're gonna get the ray. Then we have. I could hit like two grass. I could potentially hit two grass with the Rayquaza's ability. I really wanted to no, because I could no. This is fine actually. We're gonna go strong charge. Um, do this first. Put those both on. Uh, could uh, put them both on the Vika Vault maybe, or we could do like grass here, lightning here. I don't hate that. And then we Rayquaza. Yes, and we'll actually be able to attach from hand, so we'll still be able to set it up. There's the grass, and then we attach the lightning. Attach the choice bin, and as long as I didn't mess up my math, we get the knockout. Yep, just enough. 270. Clean up that soul Galio, and now we're just one prize away from winning. We have escape rope, although I don't know any how. I don't know any way how he could prevent us from taking our last two prizes. I mean, he can like send up a one prize attacker for the turn, uh, but we should be good to just kind of roll from here. Um, I don't think it's gonna be much stopping us at this point. Copycat, sure, sure. For five. Once again, I have no idea what he could get. He has to, like, send up... What if he plays Beast Rings? Oh, I'm on two prizes, though, so that won't even matter. Yeah, I'm I'm lost. I have no, I, I have no idea how he's going to be able to uh, make a comeback in this one. It's definitely not looking good for the boy, uh, for the Zorak. The Zorak's so Galio at this point. Mm-hmm, <laughs> Vika Ray is just uh, uh, it's a pretty powerful deck. Um, <clears throat> I think, yeah. I definitely knew Vika Vault decks were going to get better going into uh, rotation. Just was a fact, it was just was a matter of how powerful they would be. And so far, they are looking pretty, pretty powerful. Uh, am I even going to get anything off this? Maybe we can, like, no. Oh, it doesn't matter. We have the escape rope. Um, uh, let's just, just go for maximum damage then, I guess. Get this, put it here. Attach return, choice band, and escape rope. Um, and then, yeah, we KO anything on his board and everything on his board bench. Or we KO anything on his bench and everything on his bench is a GX. Uh, so we can't lose. And we hit him with that dragon break. Or 330. Okay. Nice. All right. Well, I think those games, uh, definitely displayed... Uh, 
the power of Rayquaza Vika Volt pretty well. The deck's super strong, super powerful right now. The deck might be the BDIF, actually. Um, um, nothing really compares to kind of its... Pa the, the power of the deck match with the consistency of the deck. Like, sometimes the deck is really powerful, but it's not as consistent. This deck is pretty powerful and also uh, pretty consistent. Um, so when those two things are combined, you kind of end up with a BDIF. That's why... Uh, Buzz Rock was was uh, such a was pretty much a BDI for so long. It was a very powerful deck that was pretty consistent. Um, the later iterations got a little clunky with the B strings and Baby Buzzles, but earlier on, uh, super super powerful, super consistent, and I think that's what we're seeing with Vika Ray right here. Um, so yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did, give it a like. If you enjoy the content, uh, Subscribe to the channel. Constructive criticism, as always, is welcomed in the comment section down below. Uh, check out the links, Twitch, Twitter, Facebook, all, all those kinds of stuff in the description below. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good day and peace.